Python has many inbuilt package packages and modules. One of the most useful modules is random. This module helps in generating random numbers. The code given below generates the random number between x and y minus 1. Both inclusive. y minus 1. Remember, it is not. Using the rand range function of the random module. Try out and observe the code. So x value is 50 and y value is x value is 10, y value is 50. And we have imported the package named as random. And there is a function named as rand range of x and y. So it gives us a result. A random value it gives us one time it, it gives us 16 and the next time you access it gives us 38 the third time you access it gives us 16 right and um, of course if you're trying to access something else next time you get 26 we're going to change the value between 1 to 5 right so they said it's between x and y minus 1 so we know that the first index is inclusive and the last is first range is it is a start range is in, inclusive and end range is exclusive so try this out 1 to 5 we have given so you will never get something called 5 because x is 1 and y is 5 so x comma y minus 1 it gives us a result up to x comma y minus 1 since the combinations are very less it gives us randomly it gives us a number that is a very uh, sometimes you'll get uh, more ones and sometimes you get more twos and sometimes uh, even it, it becomes even right since you have given 1 to 5, we have seen only 1 and 2 so far. So it gives us again again 1. I don't know what went wrong. Let's go back and um, execute this. Look, look at this. Now it gives us 4. We'll try it again again 4. So it changes. Sometimes it changes. So it's a function of RAND range. Write a Python program to guess the number in the user's mind. Rand range function of random module can be used to guess the number in user's mind. Note, user should think of a number which is in between 1 and 10, both inclusive. So 1 and 10, if they say, then you'll have to set the range between 1 and 11 in the rand range function. So random range value is 1 to 10 and the sample number in user mind is 5. If the number, because we know that if you say 1 to 10, any number it might uh, give us. If they're going to give a number which is less than the number in the user mind it has to give a message saying number is low if it is going to give a message which is above the limit above the number which is in the user mind it has to give a message number is high then you say we got it uh, you got it right if they're going to get the five so they've given a sum of print statement they want us to use because it's basically works on string match so you'll have to use the same print statements wherever applicable so look at the code so we set the condition always true we generate a number we store it in x it's a any random number it gives us one sometimes it gives us uh, you know five sometimes it gives us ten sometimes it gives us seven like that it gives a random number so we pass a number guess number is a function in which we pass a number we let's say of uh, number four in the user mind we pass it across and if number is going to be equal to equal to the number in mind the number generated by the random function and the number which is passed as a parameter is if it is going to be same then we say you got it right and break the loop otherwise if it is going to be lesser value we're going to say the so number is low higher value we're going to say number is high in this example we got it right in the third attempt itself we're going to try multiple times right look at this we got it right uh, in it, it has taken a lot of attempts 4 6 uh, 7 8 9 10 11 12th attempt we got it right in the 12th attempt we're going to try it later so look at this it, this also has taken See that you should have given a number which is um, because it's generated number randomly, right? So we may not know when it will give us the <clears throat> right number. So this is a function. This is a code we have written for this.